Okay, we are working on the 2016 Model S, and in 2016 and probably 17, they came with these style of switches. So I'm in the rear seat, the second row, and this is how you close the Falcon door. Well, this this button here doesn't do anything. It's like pulling forward or back. I can't remember what combination it is, but it's kind of confusing. So in, I'm not sure when this started, but at least in 2018, they started making a new switch uh, for these doors. And I was at the service center recently picking this car up for service, and I asked them about this. Like, yeah, you can upgrade to the new switches. This is the version 3. So they've had this. This is version 1. They've had another version that looks like this, and this is a third generation switch, third version that is for this. So this is a lot easier to understand. Like, this opens, this closes. So I'm going to swap this out. It's the same. You know, this switch will fit right in there. It'll plug right in. There's just a little plug in the back here. Okay, so all we have to do is just remove this, this trim panel here. We'll remove the bottom and then the, the top screws in. We'll remove that and we'll get this swapped in. It should only be about a five minute swap, so it should be pretty quick, pretty easy. And the cool thing, guys, is these switches, I'll leave the part number down in the description, but these switches were only like $12 a piece. So $12 for this side, $12 for that side. So don't bother trying to buy these used or somewhere on eBay. I see them for like forty, fifty dollars. Don't bother that. Don't bother with that. Just buy them from the service center, and you know swap these in, and we could probably even resell these old ones. So let's get started on this. Okay, first step. There's just this weather stripping around the door on the f on the front driver's side. So we're just going to remove this. Just pull that back the length of these panels here, and you have an upper and a lower trim panel so the lower one is what would come off first just scoot this front seat all the way forward and then we're just gonna pop this panel out you've got to pull give it a little force to get it out tab here that I had to pull out okay so it pulls back okay once you pull the panel out you then have access to that see that uh, Torx screw right there that's a 20 Torx bit and there's one on that side so we're gonna I'm gonna remove those so I can pull off this top trim panel Okay, one out. This panel out. Okay. Okay, if you can see here, there was just a there was just a this electrical connector up top here, and then there was the one inside of the door switch which is right there and just take those out now this switch is held in with three torque screws they're the same size as those these pillar screws to t20 so you just need the one size screwdriver okay the screwdriver is not going to work for these inner screws so what i'm using here is i have a a little t20 just a little bit and this is a quarter inch uh, size socket on a quarter inch ratchet and that will just be able to kind of ratchet those off so make sure you have something like this that you can get these off otherwise or like a short stubby s screwdriver that can fit the t20 okay that one out and then our last one here is just at the top. There's just three, three of these screws. Whoop. Just, just a little force right through here will put, push this out. So that whole thing is going to get replaced with. It's much narrower. Okay, there's only one way for this to go in because there's one screw hole at the top, two at the bottom, one. And two, so you just reinsert that, put our screws back in, and then we'll be able to reassemble. Okay, all three of those are screwed in. It's flush, looks good. 
Okay, it's not plugged in, so I'm going to reconnect the, the power wire, this top connector, and then the connector into the switch. I'm going to connect those in before I put everything back together, just so I know we're good to go. But we'll do a preliminary trial here, so I'm just going to reconnect that one. Harness is plugged back in. I'm now going to test it. So the door's currently open. I'm going to push the button here. Oh, here it comes. Okay, worked, worked good going down. See if it goes up. Alrighty. Got to override it to get it, get it up all the way here. Okay, now we just reassemble it. We're just going to snap this back up and screw those two torque bolts in. This looks like it. Okay, we're putting these T20s back in here. Just got to be careful. I, dro I dropped one down in there and it took a minute to fish that out, so just be careful. This one snaps in pretty easily. Just get back behind it here and like that and pull into it. Make sure those clips snap in. Panel lines are all lined up. All right. Okay, our last step here is just reattaching our trim piece. Our okay, what I'm doing here is I'm just making sure I get it pushed up all the way. I don't want there, I don't want there to be any kind of gap So as you can tell, it wasn't that bad. Probably took me about 15 minutes. So the, really the only tools you need is a Torx 20 bit driver. You need something that can do a, a, in a small space like this little. I put a little bit in there. So you need something that's got kind of like a right angle that can get into that, that screw into the switch there. But other than that, pretty straightforward, pretty easy modification. And... Uh, surprisingly affordable one like you know it's not a ridiculously priced part through Tesla which is great functionality wise this is gonna I think this is easier to this looks easier to use you know you can tell is this you know open close simple these are and these are supposed to last longer and be a little more durable so anyways thanks for watching the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel thanks